Hello everyone and welcome back to our training videos on ProPresenter 7. Today's video will be about the inspector. There are multiple ways to get to the inspector. One way is if you have media inside of your playlist. At the top of the media in the show view you'll have the inspector button. You can click on that. Another way would be if you have media on a slide in a playlist you could right click and go to inspector. If you have media in your media bin, you can right click and go to inspector. You can go to a video input and right click and go to inspector. And you can also go to your audio bin, right click and go to inspector. As you notice, each of these have slightly different looks when you are an inspector and you can add multiple slides at the same time within your inspector so you can jump around quickly without having to come in and out of inspector. So the main middle section will give you the name and the content. If there is playback, where you're at in playback, the ability to set an in point and an out point. So when you leave inspector and click on that media, now it will start and end at those new times, allow you to move through the media to see it and reset those in and out points. And then in the right column, each type of media has different tabs, but there's a lot of similarities within them. So we'll go over them quickly. So with a video that has audio on it, you'll have these four tabs. So the info tab is going to give you the name of the action or the media, the file path on your computer, this button will take you right to it. This button will allow you to replace it with a different file. You'll have the ability to set the thumbnail that you see in the show view by clicking the button here. And whatever your current look is in Inspector will become your thumbnail. Then you have all the details about the media. So there's three types of scaling. You can scale to fit which will scale your media so it fits onto the slide. You can scale to fill, which will scale your media up until it fills the entire slide. So there may be some of the media that is not seen. And then there's stretch to fill that will take each corner of your media and pin it to each corner of the slide. Then you have scale alignments. You can flip it horizontally or vertically. And all new in ProPresenter 7, you can now crop. So you can grab these dots on each side of the media and crop it, or you can use these boxes here to crop. Also new in ProPresenter 7, you can now rotate your media. So if you have a cell phone video that was shot horizontally, you can now rotate that within ProPresenter. Then you have playback options. You can choose to let this video stop, loop, loop for a certain amount of times, or loop for a certain amount of time. So this is how many times will this video fully loop, and this is how long will it loop before it stops. You can also create a soft loop. You can change what happens when it ends, whether it holds the last frame, it goes to black, it clears, it fades to black, or fades to clear. You'll see the duration. So if you were to change your in and out point, your duration length would change here. You can delay the video. So when you click on the media, it'll delay this long before it actually starts the media. You can choose to slow down or speed up the video, and you can add your own transition for this specific video. Under effects, which is a new tab, those of you who have used Pro Video Player, you'll notice that this is something that came straight from Pro Video Player. You can add an effect to any of your media. You could color adjust, or blur, or color key. Um, you could color invert. <clears throat> Once you've done that, you have the ability to click this checkbox to see the difference back and forth. And you can add another one. So we could color swap, we could choose white turns to yellow. 
And if we didn't like it, you can also click this drop down arrow and change your effect or remove your effect. You can also save it as a preset or clear all of your effects. Then finally, since this video has audio on it, we get an audio tab. We can set a fade in and a fade out time for our audio. We can route our channels. So depending upon how many inputs and outputs we have set up, we can choose to send our audio to those specific in and outs. We can also make it go to the auto setup and we can clear the channel so it isn't routed to any channels. You can also mute and solo a channel. You could set its volume and then it also tells you what output it's headed to. If you were to go to a picture, a couple of differences would be there's no thumbnail to set, there's no playback controls. You could set a duration for how long do you want this picture to stay up and delay for before it will actually show. And then you could still do all of your same effects. A video without audio, you'll just lose the audio tab. A video input will give you the name of the video input, the ability to switch to a different video input, and then the rest of your settings would be the same. And finally, we have audio. So as we look through the audio, it'll give us our waveform. We can set our in and outs. We can decide its playback behavior. Its duration would be dependent on its in and outs. We can delay it and we could speed it up or slow it down. And then the same audio controls as you saw before. So this is Inspector in ProPresenter 7.